Okay, well, I wanted to make a quick video for you guys on how to access Blackboard and to just basically orient you around. So this is the CCRI homepage. To get here, just type in www.ccri.edu. A um, couple of things here. Uh, this is where you would check your email. This is where you'd get to Blackboard, which is what we're going to be doing today. So just scroll down until you see Blackboard. Click on that and you'll get a logon screen. That's just your normal logon that you use for everything. Um, I've already, I'm already logged in, so I'll just go to the main screen. And the main screen is here. You'll see your, your courses here. Ours is History 1010-104. Click on that. Okay. So there's a few things here. The first thing I want to show you is the home page. This is going to be probably the most important area. Each week you'll see a new week appear and old weeks will begin to disappear. So, you know, make sure you do the work on time because it's not up there forever. So I'll talk about these in a second, but I just want to bring your attention to a few different things. Um, this is where you would find a copy of the syllabus. I'm going to send out one, but just if you lose it or you want to make copies and give it to all your friends, whatever you want to do, you can get it here. Um, and this is where our course calendar is going to be. So if you click on here, if you go to the month, so here's September, these are the different assignments um, and as you go along you know there'll be other assignments and usually all our assignments are on Sundays so that's um, why that's the case another tab you can go to is my grades this is a really nice one to know because once you start getting homework and stuff like that um, and you start getting actual grades you'll see it over here and you'll be able to um, get your class average. Um, the other thing that uh, is this writing assignment and I'll just click on that right now. In this course we are going to have a writing assignment. It's something called an annotated bibliography. Um, it'll ultimately be several pages, uh, several pages long but we're going to take it in small steps. But uh, step one is going to be to come up with a um, a question. All right, so I gave you about two or three weeks to do that, and it's a research question. Now, there's a full link on what this assignment's like here. Um, just click on that and give it a good read. Um, but when you're ready with a research question, you can put it here, and I should tell you something about all of these links in. Um, Blackboard is that it's very frustrating to a lot of students because you're trying to click and you can't and it doesn't work. You have to actually click on the underlined area. All right, that's the that's the, the trick. If you click on the underlined area, you'll get into here. Um, and this is set up as a discussion forum because most likely we're going to have to go back and forth on this question. Research questions are a little tricky, but when you're ready to create the thread, just click it on here. You put your subject and then your question and then hit submit and you're good. Okay, now if at any time you want to go back to our classes homepage, you can click on this tab here. Now I want to talk a little bit about these weekly folders. So again, you get to click on the link and you'll see the week's objectives. So I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, you should be doing for the week here. Um, one is to watch the intro video. Do that if you haven't already. Two is watch the orientation video, which you're doing now, so that's good. And you can see these videos here. You just click on the underlined link. Um, and it'll, it's a YouTube video, so you can just go to those. Um, do the weekly readings. Uh, I think it's read the introduction for the first week. Um, Normally there's also a quiz too, but for this first week we don't have one. Um, next, listen to the two lectures in the discussion board. Two lectures is typical, sometimes one, sometimes three. And lectures tend to be about 25 minutes long. The idea of this is it's supposed to be like a real classroom lecture. There's PowerPoints and me talking and all that stuff. Just like you would see in a real class. 
for each question, I put a focus. I'm not going to grade the focus question, which I say here, but you should do the focus question because this will help focus your thoughts for what I will grade, which is the discussion board down here. So listen to the video on YouTube. You can stop. You can rewind if you didn't get a point. Now, this is the most important thing that I think you should know out of this video if you get nothing else. Listen to the videos very, very well and take great notes. All right, so take a lot of notes. My students from previous classes in class and even online tell me they take a lot of notes in this class. And I think notes are really important. I take them all the time myself. So the videos aren't that long, 25 minutes or so each. Take a lot, a lot of notes. And then try to answer these prompts, like for the first one, describe the different material and social aspects of Paleolithic society. All right, so once you've listened to both of these, and I also want to emphasize you should listen to both of them, not just one of them. Um, you know, you'll get like half credit if you listen to one. Um, go over to here, and again, this is the discussion forum, and click here. So for each one of these, I put a question, and they're kind of like a combination of the other two. Click on here, and then go to create a thread. Give it a subject, and then write your response. Now, minimum a response should be four or five sentences. Um, and just like a response, like you're, you've listened to the video, show me that you un have understood the main contents, and then hit submit, and that's all. All right, so that pretty much uh, finishes up everything I have to say for this video. Um, just email me if you have any other questions, and um, I'll see you for the lectures.